Welcome to Living Fuel TV. I'm Casey Krejci with special guest Christian Isaacson. God bless you. Thank and, you. And thanks for ha coming back, Thank brother. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You've seen on this program people who have accomplished great things, world-class athletes. Today, I'm going to introduce you again to Christian Isaacson. Last time, we, we did this background and understanding him. This time, you're going to hear some of the details of the journey that, that allowed him to accomplish this amazing feat of five Ironman races in a row in five days. So, Christian, let's get back in. All right, right on. So, five Ironman in five days. Yep. Is that really possible? You know, it is. And I, actually, it's, uh, I did better than I thought I was going to do. I think I, did, I, think I surprised... I surprised myself, but I think I surprised a lot of other people, and uh, that wasn't necessarily my intent to be a to be a shining star. But I think when you have your goals and 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 focus where it should be and not where you want it to be, things things work for the best. Well, with us, I, you you found us through Ben Greenfield. Right. I was so. in, yep. I was asked to go on Ben Greenfield's Endurance Planet uh, and do an interview. Uh, just about what the Epic Five is, what some of my training entails on a day-to-day -day basis, what do I use for nutrition, and that's kind of where you where, where you came into the picture. Yeah, Ben's a huge advocate. <laughs> yeah, of yeah. Ben not. Greenfield is and a great sponsor. He basically said, "You're going to do that. You, yeah, you got to have the fuel, brother." Yep. yep. So, so the training aspect of this. So, so how long ago did you decide? Because this was just last week uh, that you did the Epic Five. The, the Epic Five was last week. I got the call about three and a half months ago. But I've been an endurance athlete for a little over seven years, so I have a really good base. I, I've raced Ironman and marathons and Olympics and sprints. I was part of the uh, asked to be a part of uh, the USA uh, um, triathlon team that went to France to participate in the national. I did national championships here, so I've had minimal success. Um, but I've always had like maximum enthusiasm so that's always superseded my failures and uh the the nutrition aspect when you got involved i i i'm gonna plug you here but it was i think there was a real mental and physical shift for my training uh to the benefit to the plus within recovery and and um and training as a whole well, that's fantastic. Yep. You, know, you know, it's, it's interesting because the last several shows that we've done have been on the importance of maintaining muscle and lean body mass in, in the average person, right. you know, from, from the world-class athlete to the health challenge. Everybody needs to maintain muscle mass. And you are the perfect example of a situation where if you didn't fuel yourself properly, Correct. you would be chewing up your muscle for yep. fuel and you have a hard time getting through the five. Yep. And so when you told me about Epic Five, I, I've never heard of Epic Five. I've heard of ultra, uh, ultra endurance racing yep. and sports and that sort of thing. But Epic Five is five. Explain Epic Five. Epic Five is five Ironman in five days on the five major islands of Hawaii consecutively. Um, so Ironman is? I, I, an Ironman, uh, there's an Ironman, the Iron Distance is what it's called, the, the Iron Distance race. Ironman is a sanctioned event. The Iron Distance is the, is the length of the Ironman, which is a 2.4 mile swim. 112 mile bike and a 26.2 mile run consecutively um, in, in a row. So you're doing five yep. days in a row yep. on five islands yep. with minimal sleep. Very okay. minimal. So, so you know, when you think about this, many of us have gone out there and tried to tackle a 5K or a 10K or a 15K. Some of you have done half marathons. Some of you do sprint triathlons. Some do marathons. We know the limitation of the human body because along the way you just want to quit your brain says stop right but you know this is not an iron this is not any of the things i just talked about this is the, the marathon is just your brisk uh you know walk after a, a hard a cool day down. of work right it's a cool you know, it's like yeah I, I, it's really seems it seems impossible that someone can do that and still only seven pounds of of lost weight yep. in a five-day endurance marathon, I mean, just... Yeah, I was ripped at the end. I mean, I have, I have pretty lean muscle to begin, pretty lean body to begin with, but at the end of the week, e even some of the media, they were like, e you can physically tell the change, and I think that was the difference for me is I became stronger throughout the week. You know, going into that event, it's a race against... What what, mentally, what I was telling myself is I'm racing against my own physiology. Who is going to win? Is my mind going to win, or is my body going to win, or, or, or will my body lose? Um, and I think that that is uh, the focus of any endurance athlete is to stay mentally on task and making sure that you're taking your care of your physical needs as, as far as nutrition is concerned. See, I've, I've, I've advised sports nutrition, performance nutrition uh -huh. for basically every sport. 
and have a, a lot of times uh, Ironman athletes come to me. They're, they're doing like 15-hour Ironmans. Right. Okay. And they're trying to follow the pattern of the eight and a half hour Ironman right. guys. Right. And I tell them you're running a different race than the guy that's running in eight and a half hours. In fact, that guy can't continue for another eight hours. Right. You know? So you really have to think yep. about it a little differently. Yeah, the Epic Five was a, it, it was an endurance event versus a race. Right. It, it was it, it literally was. Am I going to pace myself correctly? Am I going to am I going to fuel myself correctly? Am I going to eat r- correctly on the bike? Because that day you're thinking about the following day. With, with a regular Ironman race. You've, you've got all guns firing, and you're going as fast as you can, as hard as you can, for as long as you can, and hoping that you get to the line on your two feet. With the Epic Five, I, I had five Ironman to consider versus just the one. So nutrition, living fuel, nutrition, it played it was one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle for me to have success. Well, that is fantastic. Yep. Now, we're going to get into next. We're going to get into the training, okay. what your training life looked like, and then how you're, hmm. you planned this process okay. and how you implemented it and so on. So it's very exciting. It's awesome. God right bless on. you. We look right forward on. to having you Thank back. Thank you. Thank you. We sure hope you enjoyed it. God bless you and have a great day.